and welcome back to a brand new vlog. As you can see, I'm at house day. I'm at L6 this week. So we thought we would do a little vlog, didn't we? Yes. Um, I wanted to talk designs um, and designing of our tiny home. Um, I wish Chai was here for this bit, but we, we bought a home. We bought it. It was um, a bit of a spontaneous one. It just came up. It was quite close to us. Needs a lot of work, but when we um, can you lay down, lay down. Uh, when um, when it arrives, we will uh, show you what it looks like. It, like all the flooring needs to come out, and all the we're gonna make it into one big room. The kitchen, the living room. There's loads of things we need to do, but we have bought one. So then I started getting all excited about designs and things because I love interior design. Don't I? Yes. Um, so they say never to work with, do with dogs and children. Um, okay, so yes, we're looking at designs and things like that. Cloudy says I have complete creative control. Um, he doesn't really have creativeness like that. He has it in different ways, but not in that way. So um, thank you. Hey. So I'm allowed to do what I want. So I'm, I've done some mood boards, so I'm going to put them on the, on the screen for you to um, look and as I, as I talk about it then you know what I'm talking about. So we're going with the kitchen first. So the kitchen and living room are going to be open plan. But I still kind of wanted to keep them coherent of each other as in one space instead of two spaces. Okay, yep, yeah, we can lay there. Um, so I think I'm either going to leave the walls white, the whole room white, and then have the bright colours in decoration and stuff, or a really light, light pink, because I want the kitchen, there's already a kitchen in there, which we need to take, like, take the doors off, and I want to sand them all down, and I want to paint them like a, thank you, like an aqua blue, um, as you can see. Aqua blue. Then where the I'm gonna have a breakfast bar. We don't have any work. We'll never have all our family in our home because it's so tiny. So if we did, two could sit on the sofa. Two could be on the breakfast bar. Thank you, baby. Um, so we're gonna have a breakfast bar, and then the bit where the breakfast bar is, the wall there. We're going to. I want to put like stick on tile effects on it, um, and then we've got grey microwave keep your kettle and toaster in the lockup. So we're still gonna use those. So the blue goes really well with the gray. And then I want flashes of pink in there too. Um, I like a multi-colored kind of look, as you can see with the little drawers, drawers, door, um, jars. So you have to chill Um, hi. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking for the ki uh, the kitchen. And then if we go to, let me get it, baby. This is the <laughs> living room. So I'd really like a pink sofa. Now I don't know if I'm gonna get a pink sofa pre-loved. Um, we are gonna try and get everything we can from Facebook, Marketplace, um, eBay, any places really. Um, reasonably cheap because we're on a budget uh we put all our savings into IVF like all the treatment and stuff for it so there isn't much left in the pot is there else so yeah we're gonna look at those so I don't think I'll get a pink so far I think I'll get a grey one and, and then I will just put lots of blankets all over it and also I'm going to eventually have dogs at my house so I don't really want to be too precious with what we have that's why we're having lino all the way through the house because it's just more durable but as you can see this is what i'm going for i'm going for a light bright kind of because it's right in the center of the house um you right down there yeah so the pink will go with like the duck head blue that we're going for in the kitchen um we're going for lighter wood like furniture in the living room as well we've got we've got a lot of corners and our heating is under vents in the corners 
Um, we're going to take out the furniture that's there because it's so dated, but we needed something to put in there. So I found lots of like, as you can see, like the uh, the shelving units, which are corners, which I think will be better. Um, with the durable rug as well. So maybe he had the pink and blue running through and add some cream, um, which isn't too bad. Like, we'll, we'll add cream as in the cushions and that sort of thing. So everything can be washed because otherwise the puppies get it dirty, don't they? Yes, the puppies get the tail. We can see her tail. Let me bring it down. There you go. There you go. Can you see her now? There she is. Good girl. So yes, that's what we're kind of thinking for the living room and the kitchen, which is very exciting. We have a second room, which is quite small. I haven't designed what I'm going to do with that yet. I think it'll be our wardrobe room. Um, it has in, has two bathrooms, so we're either going to keep the second one as like a little small powder room. Um, so for when visitors come, they can go to that one instead of having to go through our bedroom because the other one's an en suite. But if we can't do that logistically, then we'll take out the second bathroom and have a really big second room. You all right? Second room, which will probably be like our wardrobe room and all that sort of thing. Our bedroom is really quite big. Um, so for our bedroom, our bedroom is really big. It's really, really big. Um, it has all the light. It's at one end of the power van. So we're going to put privacy like stickers on the walls. So obviously, because I don't want people looking in. But because it's so big, it has built in three triple wardrobes, chest of drawers, and up head over what would be the bed and a vanity unit, which has a lot of furniture in it. Now we don't need all that furniture. So I'm hoping we will be able to dismantle the wardrobes as such and put them into the second bedroom. Have one set of chests of drawers which the TV can go on. Um, and we're gonna go with these sort of colours. Now I really like like the dark forest colour. And I think it will work in the bigger room because there's so much air and light and it doesn't make it look like it's a really like cramped room. So we'll probably have on the wall as you face into our bedroom will be green. We'll have darker wood effect in the bedroom. And then flashes of pink and flashes of cream in there as well. I never thought I liked pink, but I kind of do. And the house I'm staying at the moment, I mean, this room doesn't do it justice, but I won't show you the house, but it's very much these colours and it just shows that it can work. Um, so I was like, oh, let's have a look. So, yes, we are going to go for these kind of fresh, light colours, but with the dark from the, like, the drama of it all, I think will be really nice. Um, and then again, creams, pinks, green throws, pillows, that sort of thing, and some sort of um, rug. Probably just go with a durable cream, something that you can might even wash. We don't need a big one because the bed's going to take up most of the room. It's also funny. Um, so yes, maybe have a chair by the window and maybe keep the vanity, but there's enough room so when I have a dog to stay that they can sleep in our room and it's not a problem. Uh, so that's exciting. I haven't sorted out the bathroom yet. I don't really know what I want. And until I kind of look, I think that one will be later probably next year. Because if we need a new shower and bathroom unit, then we'll have to save for that because they are quite expensive aren't they um so yeah, i don't really know what i want in there and there's no window so it needs to be brighter than what it is at the moment uh but yeah we're very excited we don't know when it's coming my mum's just messaged me so i'm wondering if it, if she says in there what it's going to be um what we're going to do first off though is knock down the walls that we need to knock down and lay the flooring and paint everything white and then me and Charlie can move in 
I didn't, we aren't going to have the money to do this at all once. It's going to be as and when, but because it's ours, and we've never had anything that's ours that we, we can put our stamp on. I mean, the, the flat was lovely, but we couldn't paint any of the walls really without knowing we'd have to put it back and we were quite restricted. But this time we're not. I mean, because it's ours and we don't have to get out at any certain point. Uh, we can just make it our home. So we are really, really excited. But as soon as it comes, we will vlog it and show you. Like I say, it needs a lot of work. It's very run down. Um, but when it's done, it's going to be so nice. It's going to be our home. We're really excited. Um, but right now, I'm going to go downstairs because this room is very hot, isn't it? Yes. And uh, thank you so much for joining me on a little ramble of what my head's been thinking for the last week. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to post this one, if I'm honest. It's just a bit of a rambly one, but I just needed to get it out of my head and talking to you guys seems to help. Um, but if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. And I hope everyone is enjoying the weather. If you are, put a little sun emoji in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye. You gonna say goodbye? Come here. You gonna say goodbye? You gonna say goodbye? <laughs> Good girl. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Say goodbye to your adoring fan. Goodbye. Goodbye.